Hey, so in this video, we're just going to look at some examples of bootstrap nav bars. Um, if you go to this link here, um, you'll see a bunch of different options or examples of different bootstrap nav bars. So when you want to use these, it's generally taking them, dropping them into your website, and then editing them to get the appearance that you want. Um, this is just one example. Again, if you go to this link, same thing. Um, but there's, oh, I accidentally closed it. Let me open that back up. Yeah, so anyway, this is just a pretty simple nav bar. We have active, comments, map, link, disabled, where you can't click on it. Um, these don't do anything because they're not actually linked to anything. But that would be a fairly simple example. Um, this is uh, maybe a little bit more complex of an example. So this one, we actually have a logo, and I have it linked to go to my website there. Um, oops. And... We've got some other, uh, we've got a couple other buttons. They're not linked to anything. And then it's got this drop down to a couple other options. Um, so again, if you want to look at the different bootstrap nav bars, you can go here and have a look. Let me make this a little bit smaller here. So you see there's a bunch of different options, um, different layouts. You know, Some have like an icon, some don't. Some have a search bar, some don't. Some have drop down, some don't. Um, another kind of nice component is, let me uh, actually open this back up here. Whenever they, see this does a good job of um, stacking whenever the screen size gets small. Some of them, let me just open this one back up. So this one stacks a little bit different. Some of them will have a hamburger menu that collapses everything. Um, just again, just a few examples of, of nav bars.